Personal finances. How can we track our personal finances? Can we use accounting software that's designed for business, such as QuickBooks, to track our personal finances? I'm going to say right now the answer is yes. And when we think about personal finances, it's also going to be more complex and oftentimes more complex for most people than even the business finances. Even if we work in accounting department, we might think that the personal finances is more difficult to track in some ways. And there's a reason for that. The business finances are easier in some ways, but it has nothing to do with the software being designed for the business finances or anything like that. It's because the objective of business is easier. Yeah, the objective of business is revenue generation. It's easy to create software or a lot easier to create software around a business objective of revenue generation. When you think about personal finances and tracking personal finances, then the objective is much different. It's not just revenue generation, of course. We, we have other, other objectives of just living well or something like that. And therefore, the expenses and the income relationship doesn't make as much sense because it's not as if it is for business where we consider everything we do to be of the objective of revenue generation. On the personal side, we spend a lot of things <laughs> that is not designed to generate revenue and it's still good because it's still there for uh, our personal needs and just ba basically for happiness generation and trying to measure happiness generation as compared to how much money we spend to generate happiness not easy to do because you can't really measure happiness as you can with a goal of revenue generation on the business side so that's really the fundamental kind of difference that we have so a lot of times we'll see different accounting softwares and things like this that are saying, hey, our accounting software is designed for personal finances and it's going to solve all your problems with personal finances because it's just going to, it's designed for personal finances. And it's, well, no, no it's not. It's not, it's not going to solve your problems because it's just inherently more difficult to think about personal finances because it's, it has a funny objective to it. Plus, on the personal side, because there's no given objective, there's no standardized set of accounts that you're going to have um, such as you, you can kind of more have on the business side. In other words, it's pretty clear that you're going to have some expenses on the business side that you can group. The telephone expense, the depreciation expense, the utilities expense, and whatnot. You can list those out. Uh, on the personal side, our expense categories could be totally random because they could be geared on what we think is important for us to track. We might track, you know, what restaurants we go to or whatnot, or a nice restaurant versus a not nice restaurant or a vacation time and whatnot and thus could be totally different than anybody else's what they track because they might spend their money in a completely different way and that's okay because it's about whatever their objective is so that's really the problem it's really setting up the the accounts uh in the system once you do that once you have a design of the accounts however quickbooks works great to to solve the to work with the accounts and if you work in accounting or you work if you're an accounting student or you work in accounting or you don't work in accounting at all the quickbooks is a great tool to help kind of uh, figure out accounting as well to figure out the accounting software to work with accounting software better it'll track information uh well and it'll also track it in a similar way as it would in a business setting because it's basically the same type of financial data so if you're an accounting student uh, then you want to track your finances in quickbooks why because it's good practice <laughs> you know you get to practice putting it into accounting software and, and reconcile the bank statements on your own uh, information. Take a look at how the reports are being generated from uh, the software. If you, have, if you have business, if you're working with a business and you're using QuickBooks, you probably want to use it on your personal too. Maybe not the same file. If you have QuickBooks desktop, you can have two separate uh, QuickBook accounts and with no, uh, no extra charge. Uh, and you can do that. If you have QuickBooks online, then you'd have to pay more for another QuickBooks uh, file. Uh, so that would be uh could it cost more to do that but if you have desktop then you can have a separate quickbooks file and you can set up a separate file you can also think about how to put the business and personal into the same quickbooks file but be careful of that we do have a course on that if you want to think about options to do that just be very careful uh if you if that's where you're going forward if you set up a a separate file for the personal then uh you can track the data in the personal file just as you would for the business keep it separate and then track that information. We do have a course on setting up a personal QuickBooks file. And again, one of the major components of setting that up is basically to set up the chart of accounts. Because again, it doesn't matter what accounting software we're using. Setting up the chart of accounts and entering that first month of data 
is often going to be the most difficult part. Once that's done, then it gets a lot easier. There's a, a discount affiliate link type discount in the description below. Here's going to be the home page of the course. If you go through it, if you wanted to take a look at it, uh, there are there will be a free component to it. We don't have the free component up yet, but it'll say free on the right side. And it'll be part of the course that you can take for free and go through it and get uh, get used to it and see what you would like to take in it. If you so choose, it'll basically be a, a small course in and of itself. And then if it's something you want to continue on with, it is a fairly extensive course that goes through basically uh, two months of uh, data input, practice data input into the software. Again, if you're an accounting student, really good practice to set up uh, your information into QuickBooks. If you're using QuickBooks anyways, desktop version doesn't cost any more for another desktop version to set up. Uh, the personal finances can really help with the taxes as well as just planning and uh, personal information. Once again, see discount below in the description.